Greetings, people. It's Jared here. Wolfgang One back to do another Transformers review. So, we have the team members, the limbs, out of the way for the uh, this series of reviews on the uh, Generation One Protector Bot. So now we're going to be moving on to the big boy himself, the leader of the team, the main torso for Defensor. We are taking a look today at Generation One Hotspot. Okay, so here's Hotspot in his alternate mode. He transforms into um, well, a fire engine. Um, that's a fucking good start, isn't it? Um, hold on a minute. Looking through this guide, it's it's something. It's a uh, uh, fuck's sake. A 1983 Mitsubishi Fuso the Great Fu six times two fire engine. Um, you know, six times two. I'm assuming that means the the, the wheels on it. There's six of them. Then there's two. On, you know, there, 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 there. Whatever. Um. So he is the leader of the protector bots. He is the uh, the group leader and the the component which forms the the, the, the torso on on defensor. Interesting take on going with blue instead of red for the fire engine. I think that's a bold choice. Um, has been re completely replayable. There's a little bit of damage to um, just this section just here where the uh, the black paint has been like sort of coming off. But whatever. I thought there might be stickers for that. Actually, it turns out. Turns out there wasn't. Um, let's just have a look at some of the things that um, Hotspot came with. Okay, so he would have come with a tax spec decoder and um, a product sheet and an instruction booklet. So ignore that for now. Um, two left and right foot plates for the combined mode. Just there. That's what um, Groove and Streetwise will eventually sit on. Okay. Comes with uh, left and right fists, just like this. That's what we'll plug into um, first aid and blades. Okay, came with two, two of these large weapons, which can be held by either hotspot or defensor. Okay, came with two of those. Comes with one crutch plate, which attaches very, very similar to um, Menasaur's crutch plate. Um, fits in exactly the same way, except this one's got two little grooves on the bottom of it, uh, which have to plug into the top of his thighs. It comes with a left and right uh, breastplate. Uh, so they'll, they'll eventually fit on just like that. Okay. It would be nice with that focus. There we are. So, yeah, just like that. And he came with um, two of these. Now, um, Kaylee uh, Jade on, on my Facebook group was uh, very, very gracious enough to send me these as part of the, the package for completing the protector. But sadly, however, she could only find parts of them. And uh, so I've got a complete one here and the end of one. So I can only show the the repair mode, the base mode, um, in uh, one side. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So, let's get all that out of the way. Let's look at Hotspot with a focused camera. Um, Hotspot came in two variants. He came with either a, a metal chest plate or a plastic one. Thankfully, I've got the metal chest plate version, which is this section just here. Um, rep label stickers on him. Uh, Looks decent enough, although you don't really see much of them until he actually gets a robot, which is all these ones onto here. Uh, he's he's all right. He's got a solid amount of weight to him. Um, I think that's the only piece of die cast in him is just this section just here. Uh, no discernible detail on the face, really, because it's all cast in black, so it's a bit difficult to see what's going on. But we'll try to um, zoom in or something on that. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got rubber tyres, which as they were phasing out rubber tyres at this stage, so... I've obviously got the rubber... I'm assuming the plastic tyres would have come with, like, the plastic um, chest section just there. I could be wrong. I might not be. Who knows? Um, a little bit of paint detail up here would have been nice for his uh, emergency lights. Um, but you can't have everything. I mean, they've gone so far as to paint this section just here, the hose and that. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll also show his attack mode because his attack mode isn't awful, right? But it's still bullshit, okay? So what you want to do is you want to attach the breastplate sections two uh i think they go this way so one there or drop it on the floor whatever you want to do but it's entirely up to you so put one there okay and then put the other one here okay so that that gives him like little wings and then add the uh robots guns to the side of him just like this a little bit of extra playability value which doesn't hurt, I suppose, but I still think these things look fucking ridiculous. I quite like this section at the back, right? But these two guns are ruining it for me, quite frankly. So, um, yeah. 
and they can go forwards, they can go backwards, whatever. He's also got a very, very long extendable ladder. Okay, so there, that gives you an idea of how big his ladder is. You know, I, I've seen bigger in my time, but um, probably not a toy. So, uh, yeah, so that, that also goes around sort of 360, providing you can get these things off. And, yeah, goes up like that, spins round. Does, so, there's, you know, there's a little bit of playability value in, in, um, in Hotspot. Apart from also being the torso for the combined mode, so yeah, he's he's not bad actually. I've I've got to say in 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 this mode, he's he's actually quite cool. Again, the robot mode is a little bit let down. Um, he's a chunky boy on top, but not so much on the bottom. Um, it would have been nice to see just a little bit of consistency in the robot mode in that sense. But as I said, the robot modes have all been massively compromised with these these sort of toys for the sake of the combined gimmick. So we're going to take him straight to robot mode. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to split apart this section just here, which I would have thought would have held together a lot more than it actually does, but it comes apart very, very easily. Uh, so do that, split those apart like that, uh, bring this section up, and then split this section at the back, pull those out. Oh, shit. Hold on, I'm going to do this off camera because this is fucking awkward. Bastard. Right. So make sure they're fully extended like that. Then lift up this section here. That's going to form his uh, robot mode chest plate. Just like that. And then you can see more stickers underneath. Stand him up. And then bring these sections down to the sides. You can bring them forward a little bit if you want. Uh, and the head is spring loaded. So you just want to do that. Pop the head up. And then these sections just here at the front... There's blue little tabs just here. You just want to extend those. That'll form the hands. And then this section just here spins round. I think. I could No, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. It spins. So, yeah. That section spins round, comes up to the back, locks in, and then the ladder comes down. A bit like um, G1 Inferno, in that sense. Um, And, yeah, that right there is Hotspot. In his uh, in his robot mode, and as I said, very very chunky at the top, massive what what are supposed to be hands, um, just like that, massive chest section, massive arms, with these small piddly legs at the bottom. It's a bit jarring to be honest. And uh, let's give him his weapons for the sake of like completing the overall look. There we are. Oh, I tell you what, <laughs> I tell you what, I didn't do. I didn't show it off his shitty fucking repair bay mode. I'll do that in a second. Um, so that's, that's hotspot in robot mode. He's okay. His robot mode isn't bad. It's just, there's, there's a massive difference between this big chunky section and this small piss weak section down the bottom. So he's quite, you'd think he's quite top heavy, but he stands all right. So, so you know, you can't really argue with that. But, but the, if you want to see something is shitter than this, right? And I promise you, he's got something shitter than this. I'm going to introduce you. I didn't do this with Motormaster's review, right? I didn't. I didn't show off the uh, the base mode, repair bay mode, whatever the fuck that was supposed to be, right? This, on the other hand, I have to show this off because this is fucking piss weak, right? So get rid of this. Collapse these in. Bring the head down, okay? Bring this chest section back down to here, right? Okay, you're following me so far. Get these out of the way. Spread the legs all the way like that, okay? And then bring these these sections around so they sit like this. Alright. Never mind the fact, never mind the fact they don't lock in, they don't tab in, they don't do fuck all right, they just sit there. Right? Take these chest sections. Um on, let's get the other one. Take the chest sections and put them in the two ports just here, okay? One there. I mean, this is a lot of fucking about for literally no payoff whatsoever. Right, I swear, I promise you. Right, so then, then get the legs up and back like this. Right, bring these arms forward. Right, and then, right, if, if this wasn't fucking bad enough, then fuck around with this, right, and then bring that forward for some reason. 
and then put because I've only got one of them. Thank you, Kate. Uh, put the repair bay arms in that little hole just there. Except it does like to pop out. I don't know why. Put that back. Oh, fuck off. Put it back in. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Hotspot's repair bay mode. All right. If, if you can believe that. Now, I'm, I'm just going to use Streetwise as an example. Put Streetwise in there. And then that's the repair bay mode, apparently. Now, I'm sorry, right? But of all the after afterthoughts that there have ever been in this toy line, this has got to be in the top five. This is fucking weak as shit, right? That, my, I don't care. My, my imagination as a kid would not have stretched, right, to this being a repair bay. You, you don't see a contortionist, right, walking crab legs and say, I'm a shopping trolley. Yeah. It's exactly the same fucking thing. This this here is piss weak horse sheet. Horse sheet? It's horse sheet as well, as well as horse shit, right? This is piss weak horse shit, right? Taken to the extreme. I mean, you, you can move his little repair bay arms and he can repair protector bots or anything like that, but I'm sorry, this this is wank. This these these arm sections don't even tab in, right? So as a result, if you if you've got a very old figure like this. And you can see how loose that is, right? Nothing holds together very well. And this, if I take street wires away, all it wants to do is fall over, right? That's the fucking point in that. That is shit, right? If I put street wires there, it just about holds him up. Now, I'm aware, I am aware that you're supposed to be able to connect these to Metroplex and everything like that. When I eventually come around to doing Metroplex's review, I don't think I'm going to do this. <laughs> I don't, don't ask me why. Right? I've just got a feeling I'm not going to bother because this, as 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 it goes, this is pretty fucking insulting. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I should have shown this off in the middle of the review and finished off with Hotspot's um, robot mode. The robot mode is not bad. Again, a little bit compromised because of what it's supposed to do. Um, this, th th this, there's no need for this. Not, fan modes, right, don't come out as bad as this. Right, and this is an official fucking repair bay mode from the toy designers. Fan modes are not as bad as that. And I've seen some pretty bad fan modes in my time. This is just like... This, this, there's no excuse for this. There is no excuse for that whatsoever. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this review on Generation 1 Hotspot as he stands here, right here. Um, this is Gerard Gavin Barry, also known as Wolfgang1, saying please join me next week when my uh my this is a series of reviews will conclude with uh generation one defense or the the combined mode for these boys just here let's get this back into robot mode finish this fucking review properly oh yeah that's the other thing spring-loaded heads have a tendency to get stuck there we are yeah so that's that's hot spot that's he's, he's all right i'm just gonna leave him like that right that's that's hot spot his repair bay mode is fucking shit um make of that what you will um i'll be back next week for defensive review i do hope you join me ladies and gentlemen this is gerald gavin barry also known as wolfgang one saying thank you for watching and take care